Hey guys, thought I tried again. So I just disconnected the microphone. So maybe you guys all see me if I'm back on or not. Um, so anyways, gonna go with the workout. So I don't know what happened with yesterday's workout. We're gonna do the same one. It didn't uh, save so you could replay it. So I'm trying to do these streams so you can come back and view them and replay them. So um, that's what happened with yesterday. So I'm gonna redo yesterday's workout. Let's see if we get the camera angle right here. And so you're gonna want a lighter weight kettlebell for today. Um, these are also basic moves. So they're really super basic, this workout, because um, a lot of you might not know the uh, details of how to do these exercises. So they're very basic in nature and it'll allow you to follow along. As we do more workouts, I'll do more tutorials and you can check in. I also do some more communications with the when I'm doing these more on a consistent basis. Right now with all this change, uh, and I'm supposed to be on vacation, which I'm not gonna really be on vacation, um, it's been difficult trying to get some regularity. So these are free, these are just to help all of us stay on task and stay in a routine. So anyways, go back to the workout we're gonna do today. We're going to do uh, kettlebell half cleaning and press, and then, um, We'll move to a mace bell exercise and then we'll do two more supersets after that. All right, so let's get started. We'll want to do a little bit of a warm up. So, what I'm going to do is clasp your fingers together, go ahead and roll the wrists. And I'm going to have you go the other way. Go ahead and take your thumbs, put them on the inside of your fists, and then just Roll the wrists around, and your elbows, excuse me. And then go ahead and bring that the other way. Excellent. Just roll the shoulders a little bit, not too big, not too deep. Just draw them up and back. Don't force them down. Focus more on just opening that chest up. Go ahead and reach down your back, and go on the other side. Switch arms, reach up. Now, get that reciprocal movement going. Nice little warm up. Good, now, hold this time, bring this arm here, pull down a little bit, get a little stretch, you can arch to side. If you can't see, I'm kneeling on both knees because our first exercise deals with half kneeling. We will get up and standing and work on a row, and that gives us an opportunity to stretch out the, the glutes and the hamstrings. All right, so we're gonna start with your half kneeling cleats and press on the kettlebell. So take your lighter weight kettlebell, so you guys can see me, I'm gonna move up a little closer. So let's talk about your half kneeling position. So we're gonna start with your right side, and so I'm going to demonstrate that, obviously, with my right hand. It's obviously in the camera. So kneeling down on your uh, right knee, you're going to place your left foot out in front, and we're going to rotate your right foot. Excuse me, we're starting on the left side. Rotate with your uh, right foot so that you have a bit of an angle with your shin bone. Okay? Probably if you look down clockwise, you think that it's about 7 o'clock. So we're going to start on the left side, non-dominant side. So go ahead and take the kettlebell. You're going to hold it in a pronated position to start so that the bone is placing the thigh, facing the thigh that's pointed downwards. And you're going to rotate, I'll demonstrate, rotate and clean the kettlebell onto the wrist. So it goes in orbit, it rotates around. So we're going to do three cleans on this side. Let's practice that. Here's the first one. Here's one. Here's the second. There's two. And notice how I get my shoulders stacked. And here's three. Good, now we'll add the press to it. Just to run through the press, think about your forearm traveling up an elevator shaft, and then coordinating some rotation, external rotation, bicep facing your ear as you're pushing the kettlebell up. Then activate the lat, actively pull back down into position, keep the elbow tight to the rib, rotate back into position, or the hanging position here. So we're gonna do a clean to a press. We'll call that two. There's three. There's four. 
There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. Get two more. Nine. And one more for ten. We're going to cut it up down. We'll switch sides. So get yourself set up. You're going to kneel on the left knee. Now the shin bone is going to be set at, in this angle, probably about like five o'clock. You're going to go ahead and pull that kind of on the right arm. Thumb facing the left thigh. So you're internally rotated. We're going to rotate your torso. Rotation will clean and press. And now press up. That's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Five more. There's six. There's seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So, a lot of reps there at that kettlebell's head, and make sure you're using your full rotation through your torso to help get that kettlebell into position. Don't swing it out and up. Remember, kettlebell's in orbit. Clean that kettlebell around the forearm and catch it in that rack position. Do more videos and we'll get into more specifics on that. Okay, so we're going to your mace bell now. So we're going to do a hinge row. So you're going to face off the side here, give you the oblique angle in a hinge position, send those hips back, and row the kettlebell. There's one, two, there's three, there's four, there's five, six, seven, Here's eight. Two more, we'll switch sides. Nine. One more for ten. Awesome. Now we're going to switch sides. So again, holding the base belt, you create the, the challenge by what fulcrum or leverage um, you implement how you hold the base belt. So we're going to hinge and row in this direction. So I hinge first and row. There's one. There's two, there's three, four, and five, six, there's seven, eight, nine, one more for 10. So we're using that part of the superset. Get the lower body, do a pull motion, do a hinge, and then follow the pull motion on the upper body. So double bang for your buck. All right, so we're gonna start again. We're gonna go half kneeling, start with the right knee down, back to half kneeling, clean and press. We have 10 on the left side, 10 on the right side. Picking the pace up now, here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, there's six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. And switch sides. I mentioned this in yesterday's video. If you saw, <coughs> you 
You can use a towel, a hand towel, to strip it over to cut a belt. That feels like it's getting a little too uncomfortable to you. Learn how to tame the orbit of the belt around the forearm. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more for ten. There's your ten. Line to your base belt. So we get the hinge again, hinge in a row. Start with the weight in and the left. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine, one more for ten. Good, switching sides. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pretty easy workout, not too hard. All right, one more set of each exercise here. It's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more for ten. Good. On to the other side. Remember, externally rotate. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that feels good. I typically work out with a 28 to 32 kilogram for my standing cleans and presses. It's so a higher volume with a lighter weight, that's 14K, two days in a row. It feels pretty good. I feel like I've got a little, little bit of a, a burn going on. More of a bodybuilder burn than anything else, but it still feels good. Here we go, ready? Hinge row, one. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Awesome, switching sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more for ten. Excellent. So, you start to see the format of the workout. I was pushed with upper body, pull with lower body and upper body. Now we're going to go to a single pull with the upper body, and then we're going to work uh, a little bit of an alternating switch into a squat, which is a push motion with the lower body. So we're trying to go through a series of supersets that each exercise in the yoga superset offsets, whether it's upper body, lower body, and push-pull sequence. So it's relatively balanced. And you're also giving opportunities um, for certain body parts to recover, keep the workout going in nature. Productive workout, get it in, get it done, get out. All right, here we go. Next exercise is your lunge row. So you can take your kettlebell. I can give you two big ins at technique detail here. I've got plenty of videos that we we'll cover or go over this one. And I'll give you a quick setup. So you can see my Foot placements, long lunge stance here. The uninvolved arm, what we think is uninvolved, is very active. It's pushing down through my thigh. Grass the kettlebell in a neutral position. Here we got 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Nice long stance. Think about pulling your kneecap up to the hip. Tighten the quad, tighten the glute. Activate that stationary arm. Push your forearm into your thigh. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gonna move the kettlebell off to the side. We're gonna do 20 alt switch squats. So if you do not know how to do the alt switch, do 10 squats, holding the mace bell right below or base of your sternum, squeezing it tight, horizontal level, squat down and stand up. If you know how to do the alt switch, you're gonna alt switch upon standing on each squat with control. All right, so beginners, hold the mace bell, start on your right side with the sphere on that side, and then you do 10 more for a total of 20, sphere on the left. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now, 10, one. Now, if you're a beginner, you should be on the left side. Here we go, two, three, I think I missed one there. Three, four, four, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. I'm laughing because those of you that work out with me know I'm the worst counter in the world. Okay. Back on to the kettlebell. Second set. Nice long lunge position. Here we go. Set of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Good. Working into our second set of our super second super set. You should start to feel some fatigue right now. Maybe you didn't feel it that first set. Start feeling it now. It's okay. It's supposed to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Plus, you can work out at your own pace. Not changing the exercises. You can pause the video. If you 
you know, do as many reps as you feel comfortable doing, and then fast forward into the next sequence. So only one more sequence after this one. All right, where are we? I'll switch squats. Set of 20. Beginners, 10 on the right, and 10 on the left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, beginners, get it on the left side now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. When you do your squats, Make sure you're keeping your body upright. Pull that catalog tight to the body. Get those parascapular muscles, those back muscles engaged as you squat. Let those knees go forward. All right, here we go. Last round of the second super set. Take your time, good form, good technique. Here we go, lunge row, set of 10. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Men with that arm, push it down into the thigh, with that active. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of these concepts with these kettlebells and mace belts, it's not necessarily working with heavy weight, it's creating tension where there isn't any. Activating the other side of the body with an isometric, or other terms we use a yielding isometric when there's slow resistant movement through, say, maybe the uh, opposing limb, or the limb that's actually moving weight is the waist of light. So we want to create more work if we need to. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the beginner version. Stay loaded on the same side for 10. We'll switch, same side, uh, loaded on that side for 10. If you know how to do the alt switch squat, do the alt switch squat. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Go ahead and drink the water. I'm going to do the same thing. Then we got one more super set. We'll go over the two exercises there. Okay, so last two exercises. A rubble press with the mace bell and then single leg deadlift. I'll show a single leg deadlift with the kettlebell. But you can also do a single leg deadlift with the mace bell, which is also a lot of fun too. So get some variation into it. All right, here we go. Get started. You're going to start with your mace. Pick the mace up. Straight wrist, then a broken wrist. Hold the mace bell at an angle or a distance from the spear that creates some challenge, but you're still productive. You know, it's successful producing the exercise. I encourage you to get your feet close together. Use your abdominals. The handle of the mace bell goes across the collarbones in a sense, but not touching your body. 
other arms to the side, and it's active as well. Get the shoulder blades back, squeeze, and go ahead and press straight up and the rotation. So your goal is to coordinate that rotation as you depress. That's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Notice that you have to really control it. Can't go too fast. Five. Six. I'm going to show you my profile. Pay attention to the profile on top. Here we go. Seven. Bicep by the rear arm straight up. It's not out here. I'm not, I'm not changing my posture. You have to change your posture to do this. You got some work to do in other areas. Okay, here we go. Three more. One. Two. And three. Good, go ahead and switch. Now we're set to go on the other side. Ready, okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two more. I don't remember if I did 10 on the other side, but we get 10. Nice. Single leg dead lifts. We're going to cut those down to eight. It's a little bit of a challenging exercise. 10 is cool, but I think eight is a for code for today. So I'm going to start off with my right leg. I hold that kettlebell out in front of my left thigh. That thigh will be going back. So I'm just going to bring the kettlebell just down to the joint line of my supporting leg. So we're going to achieve a soft knee, and I stand up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more for eight. There's eight. Here we go on the other side. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more for eight, eight. See, I had a little trouble with my balance on that side. And uh, I work on that with my own shoes, but still down. Moving on, here we go, second set. So the 10 rebel presses, one, two, three, four. I'll sometimes like to watch the bell, six, and that's five or six. Here we go, seven. Nine. There's ten. Good. Switch. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right. Back on the single leg deadlift. See if I can improve when I get to my left side. I'm going to start my left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, on the other side. 
better than I still have to work at it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. All right. Last set. Onto the main spell. Rebel press. Set of ten. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Tighten those abdominals. Five. Push this hip forward this way, in this direction, closing direction. The abs tight. So you can't complain we didn't get an ab workout because they should be engaged right here. I don't know what number on. Well, that's seven. Eight. Nine. One more for ten. All right, switch. Abs engaged. Straight elbow, straight rest, excuse me. All the way straight up with rotation. One. I said by the ear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And last one, 10. All right, let's do some single leg deadlifts with the main spell. So I'm gonna start off on my left side like I did last time. What I wanna do is have that spear, the weighted end on my unweighted side, so I have more of a rotational challenge that my postural muscles have to work on. So here we go, one, two, three, four, it's a little easier, right? Let's sneak that main spell out. Four, five, six, there we go, seven, I can do two more, I'm not happy with those, a little better, one more, okay, other side, oh, excuse me, balance of what's in yoga this morning. Here we go, on the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more for eight. There you go. All right, guys, so super basic workout, putting out some simple stuff right now so you can just get familiar with the implements. Actually, the kettlebell half moving clean is not that easy, but play around a little bit. I'm gonna do more tutorial type videos as time goes on. So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna watch Facebook. I don't know if I'm gonna do Instagram. I might wanna do more stuff on Instagram. So if you're getting this, if you wanna email me at Emil, at mindmovecoach.com and let me know what medium you think you prefer, whether Facebook's working for, uh, I won't do stuff on Facebook, but I'll advertise the uh, videos that you can do on YouTube or Instagram. All right, thanks for working out along with me and have a great day.